This video shows the impact of demographic processes on the change in the population structure of the UK and predictions for the future. Firstly, let's look at the population pyramid for the UK as at 2016. In this pyramid, each bar represents a year of age from 0 to 89, with men on the left and women on the right. The actual bars represent the estimates for the UK population in the middle of 2016, while the line represents the estimate in 2006. Even in only a decade, you can see changes in the population. If you look at the blips at age 60 in 2006 and 70 in 2016, these represent the baby boomers, the sudden increase in those born just after the Second World War. This is reflected in increases in the birth rate in the years following 1945. You can see an increase in the number of people aged 45 to 55 in 2016 and 35 to 45 in 2006, reflecting the children of the baby boomers. You will also see an increase in the numbers of people aged 25 to 35 in 2016, although no corresponding increase of 15 to 25 year olds in 2006, reflecting those who are now part of the UK population due to migration. Now let's see what is projected to happen to the UK population. Here the outline shown is the 2014 population and the bars are the estimated population from 2014 to 2039. This gives a really clear illustration of the ageing population. The outline shows the results of lower fertility and falling death rates, which resulted in longer life expectancy. There are various consequences to this shift. With an ageing population, there will probably be an increase in demand on health and social care, although maybe less demand on maternity services. Will there be enough adults of working age to support the older population? This could be either physically as health workers and carers or financially through taxation. To keep a stable pyramid, will we need to increase immigration numbers? Population changes over time can be categorised using the demographic transition model. This is a four stage model that describes the general patterns of changes in death rates, population growth and birth rates during the process of modernisation. In the graph, the birth rate is represented by the blue line and the death rate by the orange line. Stage 1 is where the transition begins. Both the birth and death rates are high in this stage, which means that the population size is stable. In stage two, the death rate begins to fall due to improvements in agricultural productivity, economic development, the introduction of modern sanitation, immunisation programmes and improved nutrition. Issues such as societal and cultural values, considerations of personal security and personal preferences continue to support a high birth rate. This leads to the population growing rapidly during this stage. Stage three begins when the birth rate begins to decline. This is a result of factors such as the effects of land shortages, urbanization, education of women, and the introduction of family planning programs. The decline in birth rate exceeds that of the death rate. Population growth continues, but at a declining rate. Stage four marks the end of the transition. The birth rate joins the death rate at a low rate and the population size stabilizes. The lower birth rate can produce demographic dividend from fewer dependents per working age adult, giving a country the opportunity to invest in healthcare, education, economic development and infrastructure before the population ages. 
As populations have started to decline in some countries, a fifth stage has been proposed, represented here by dotted lines to illustrate what could happen in the future. In stage five, the death rate becomes higher than the birth rate and the population size declines. Examples of countries where this is happening include Japan and Germany, where the number of older people is greater than the number of young people. Countries entering the fifth stage could face significant challenges in maintaining infrastructure. For example, having enough trained staff available to deliver healthcare services, including care in later life. At the moment, it is not clear if all countries will move into stage five, and it is still a point of debate. The demographic transition model shows the various wide ranging factors that drive changes in a population and so can impact on the health of that population. This model has been used as part of the prediction that the world population will level off at around 11 billion near the beginning of the 22nd century.